Uh, I would first like to thank the organizers for giving me the opportunity to talk here. The title is Rational Singularities and Omega Mars Prayer Ideals. In this talk, we always assume that a ring is a domain, a ring is a domain essentially of finite oh, type of a C. In this talk I will talk about um, talk about characterization of a uh, of two-dimensional rational singularities via omega marsh prior ideal. So first, I will define omega marsh prior ideal. Let M be a normal local ring A is ideal. F is a log resolution. Of A such that A O Y is equal to O Y minus F. Then J Omega A C is equal to F star omega y minus cf colon a omega a so it's equal to the element of a such that x omega a contain f star omega y minus CF. Uh, Omega Mars Prior Ideal have similar property to Mars Prior Ideal. So I will introduce the property of Omega Mars Prior Ideal. A is no more occurring. And A R is ideal. One eight. Omega Mars Prime ideal is an integrally cross ideals. If A is if A has rational singularities, J omega A concludes the integral closure of A. If A is coin Macaulay, then A has 
uh, rational singularities if and only if j omega a is equal to a Last, uh, if A is Kugel-Einstein, then uh, Omega multiply ideal contain usual multiply ideal. And in particular, if A is Gorenstein, uh, in particular, <laughs> is Gorenstein, then Omega Mars Prime ideal is equal to Mars Prime ideal. Next. I, I will introduce the Professor Takagi and Professor Watanabe's result. They, they characterize two dimensional log terminal singularities via subadditivity of multiply ideal. Let AM be two dimensional normal Kugel-Einstein local ring. Then A is log terminal. If and only if A, J, A, B is contained in J, A, J, B for any ideals. This property is called subadditivity. So it makes sense to consider the subadditivity of omega multiply ideal. So today's main theorem is the following. Dimensional normal ring, two dimensional normal asymptotic ring. Then A is rational singularities. Subadditivity of Omega multiply ideal holds for any ideals. So today I will prove this theorem. In order to prove main theorem, I introduce to theorem of rational singularities. 
itu sel lemak A ring is two dimensional broken ring with uh, rational singularities. R is ideal and F is global resolution of A such that A or Y is equal to O Y minus F and Y zero is the minimal resolution of X Then, then omega mars by ideal is equal to f star o y k y over y zero minus c f. So, in general, it is how to compute. Omega Mars per ideal. However, by this theorem, uh, it is easy to compute Omega Mars per ideal for two dimensional local ring with rational singularities. Theorem 2. Oh. This was uh, this term is a Ripman's result. It, A is a two dimensional local ring with rational singularities. And F is a resolution. Resolution of X. Then so there is one to one correspondence between following to that issue. First, first set is uh, I is an um, integral I cross the ideal of A I is A such that A I O Y is invertible. And second set is um, F is effective Effective F and F F and F divisor on Y. Uh, F and F means uh, minus F is F and F. So. There is a one-to-one -one correspondence between 
this set and the correspondence given given by the following morphism so the morphism send i to fi and f send as x to x star o y minus f Second, uh, if mm, right, not okay, sorry, for in integrally closed ideal I J I is contained in J if and only if F I is greater than or equal to F J. So we want to prove this inclusion when uh, we check this inequalities. And third, if uh, I J I and J are uh, Integral cross then the product is also integral cross and IJ is equal to F star O Y minus F I minus F J. So the effective divisor of F and F corresponding to I J is F I plus F J. Next, I will define a uh, uh, anti nef closure. Right? F anti nef closure. Let AL be two dimensional normal local ring. dimensional normal local ring F is a resolution of singularity and D D is a device on y then anti net closure of D is the smallest uh, smallest divisor which is uh, F anti net and greater than y equal to d it's uniquely determined and the uh, functional closure have following properties does remark F star Y 
minus d is equal to f star y minus f anti f closure of d. Okay. So I will prove the main theorem. First, we assume that uh, subadjectivity of omega multiply ideal holds. Then, okay, so which direction? This. So, by the subadjectivity, we have J omega A contain J omega A square. This implies that j omega a is equal to a. So for any resolution uh, resolution we have f star omega y is equal to omega a. And now a is two-dimensional normal local ring. So a is a coin macore. So a is coin macore and have these properties so A has a rational singularities uh, it has okay. so next I will prove opposite direction Take a rogue resolution. Log of a one, a two, such that a i is equal uh, a i o y is equal to o y minus f i. And F0 is a minimal resolution. Then by, uh, by theorem 1, we can compute omega multiply ideal using the mean model resolution. So, J omega AI is equal to F star O Y K Y over y0 minus fi and by this equality it's equal to f star y minus f and f closure of fi minus ky over y0 so and J omega A1 A2 is equal to F star OY KY over Y0 
minus f1 minus f2. It's also equal to y minus a and f f1 plus f2 minus ky over y0. By, by this theorem, so theorem 2, 3. Uh, integral cross at uh, the product of integral cross ideal is also integral cross ideal. So, uh, omega multiply ideal is integral cross ideal. So, this is j omega a1 j omega a2 is equal to f star y minus a and f f1 minus ky over y0 minus a and f f2 minus ky over y0 so by theorem 2 I think we should go like by theorem 2 uh, so we want to prove this inclusion uh, one. so by theorem 2 it is enough to prove that Is enough to prove that a and f f1 minus ky over y0 plus a and f f2 minus ky over y0 and it's less than or equal to a and f f1 plus f2 minus ky over y0 so I will prove it and in order to prove these inequalities I, I will prepare some notations assume that the morphism f is factorized factorized as f uh, yeah, sorry y is yn yn minus 1 uh, y is 0 x fn fn minus 1 f1 f0 uh, fi is uh, this morphism is okay. this morphism is a contraction of a minus one curve EI on YI and F0 is a minimal resolution. <laughs> and 
and we denote by pi i the morphism is from y to y i this is a con uh, uh, composition this is a composition of f i plus 1 f l and pi n it's an identity morphism on n Let Z be F and F divisor on Y and C is a set of natural number such that uh, uh, the as an intersection number of z and pi i star e i is negative. Then we can compute the net closure of z z minus k y over y zero. Z minus k y over y zero is equal to z minus a pi i star e i and i is the element of c so first we assume this crime is true and using this crime i will prove i will prove this inequalities and next i will prove the crime C, Cj, let Cj the set of natural number satisfying this uh, number. Fj dot i star each i is negative. J is one or two and C3 it satisfies this this intersection number is negative then 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 uh, the f antenna closure fj minus ky over y0 is equal to fj minus uh, pi i star e i uh, i is cj and f1 plus f2 minus ky over y0 is equal to f1 plus f2 minus pi i star e i i is the element of c3 and we we have this inclusion C1 C2 because because if this intersection number is negative then 
pi i dot pi s star e i is negative or f2 dot pi s star e i is negative. So we have this equation. So, so, so a n f plus a n f f2 minus k y over y0 this is equal to uh, f1 plus f2 minus uh, i n star e i i the element of c1 minus sigma i i star e i i is in c2 by this equation this is less than equal to f1 plus f2 minus I star A I I is in C three. It's it it is um, a anti closure of F one plus F two minus K Y over Y zero. So we we show this inequality. So, uh, therefore, we have this inclusion. First, we will show Z minus C pi i star e i is F anti nerf. So we will check the intersection number of this and any exception divisor is less than or equal to zero. First case is exceptional divisor of F0. F0 is a minimal resolution. So Z minus I I star A I dot the strict transform of E this is less than or equal to Z dot pi zero minus one star E because because pi i star E i dot pi zero minus one star E 
is equal to e i dot pi i lower star uh, pi zero minus one star e. So there are different prime divisors. So this is equal uh, this is equal to zero or one. So we have these inequalities. And now z is f anchin f. So this intersection number is less than or equal to zero. Second case E J J is the element of C. Then first I will prove pi i star e i dot pi j minus one star e j is equal to zero for any element uh, i is any element of c. So this is. Uh, this is equal to so e i dot pi i star pi j minus one star e j so it's equal to zero or one so if this intersection number is one If the intersection number is one, pi, then f i is the is is growing up at a cross point. Pi i minus one star, pi j minus one star e j. So this implies that pi i star e i is less than or equal to pi j star e j. So z is f anti nerf divisor, so we have these inequalities. And now r is the element of z, so this intersection number is negative. So this intersection number is also negative. This implies that J is an element of C. However, we assume that uh, so, sorry, not not J. Uh, not J is not an element of C. <laughs> so so J is it, a contradiction. So we have uh, this intersection number is equal to zero. So we can compute the intersection number. Wait, not C minus pi i star e i dot pi j minus one star e j. Now we prove this intersection number is zero. 
so this is equal to z dot pi j minus 1 star ej and z is a function of divisor so the intersection number is less than or equal to 0 but in fact if this intersection number is negative then j is a uh, this implies j is the element of z, so, so this intersection number is equal to zero. So, so last case, j, j is the element of z, then I cross by two case. Mm. It, first, I assume that yeah. this intersection number is negative. Then, z minus i i star e i dot pi j minus 1 star e j is less than or equal to z dot pi j minus 1 star e j minus a pi i uh, pi, pi j star e j dot pi j minus 1 star e j this is equal to minus 1 so and um, we assume it's intersection number is negative so this is a rest equal to zero so second case uh, This intersection number is equal to zero. Then the J is the element of C, so the intersection number of Z and the product of E J is negative. So therefore we can find following element of k i of k such that pi i uh, pi mm, z dot z dot z dot k star e k is negative and pi k star e k dot pi j minus 1 star e j is equal to 1. So this intersection number is Right now I go to uh, minus pi k star e k dot pi j minus 1 star e j minus pi j star e j dot pi j minus 1 star e j it's equal to zero. So by the above discussion, we prove that um, the intersection number of this and any exception divisor is less than or equal to zero. So we prove this element, in, uh, this divisor is.
Chech Antinev. So, we prove this in quality. Oh, sorry. KY over Y0. Let's sum equal to Z minus C pi i star e i. Uh, not that it's equal to it's equal to i call 1n pi i star e i. So next we will we will prove that there is no f antinef divisor between them. Then we can uh, then this implies that this is equal to that. Let the prime be the divisor such that Z minus KY over Y cell less than equal to Z prime less than Z minus uh, pi i star pi i yes. and so we will prove the prime is not f anti nf so now let f is equal to uh, f is equal to z minus pi i star a i minus z prime then it's effective and take up component of f then There is a <coughs> following element at the end. There exists K such that uh, i j minus one star e j plus y equal to i k star e k. So, uh, not you, no, sorry, not. So, J is also not C. So, this intersection number is equal to zero and pi i star e i dot pi j minus one star e j is also zero for element of c. This intersection number is equal to z minus i star e i minus f dot f. This is equal to z minus i star e i dot f minus L 
dot elf. But this equality, the intersection is equal to zero. So this is equal to minus elf minus dot minus elf. So self-intersection number is negative. So it's positive. This means that the intersection number of Z prime and some effective divisor is positive. So this implies that Z prime is not F anti F. So, f one closure of z minus, ah, sorry, z minus ky over y0 is equal to, uh, to z minus pi i star ei. So, claim is true. So we prove my theorem. Oh, the side. Next, uh, lastly, I I will give the counterexample to my theorem in higher dimensional case. Example. Let A is equal to C X Y Z W X square uh, Y four Z to four five five. Then uh, its localization. Then A is a hypersurface, so in particular A is Grange time. And this ring is canonical singularity. And but not terminal. We have uh, this omega multiply ideal is equal to m, and we can prove the omega m square contained uh, because now a is a Russian singularity, so it's contain it's contained integral closure of m square. Since x square contained in m square, so x contained in integral closure of m square. So we have j omega m square contain x, but J omega M J omega M does not contain X. So this implies that J omega square is not contained in J omega M J omega M. So in higher dimensional case, subadditivity does not hold. I stop here.